Nothing happened to us at the beginning because my father could go back to work. He was a senior civil servant. And though we were restricted in a way in that we had to wear the yellow star and couldn't go out except shopping between 8 and 10 o'clock in the morning. We, as far as I remember, didn't think much of it. And uh, my father in particular thought that no harm would come to us. And even when later on, in August, September, rumor had it that a ghetto was being established in the city. My father said, no, but they won't take us. And indeed, the um, street in which we lived was the last to be moved into the ghetto. But the day came. It was the 11th of October, 1941, when we had to leave our home and move into the ghetto, and we did. We stayed there for three days. After three days, we were driven out of that house and told that we would have to be sent to another place, resettled. And my father believed that. Um, we were made to stand in the street for a whole day and then sent back into the houses, then driven out again and taken to the railway station. There we were told that we would have to enter the cattle train that was waiting for us, 51 persons per car. People were dying. My father was the first. He died a few days after our arrival. My mother was unconscious. My grandmother was lying on the floor and I was trying to take her shoes off but her feet were so swollen that I pulled and pulled and pulled and I couldn't make it. And that particular instance, she said to me, you're young, you'll survive. Don't forget who you are. And the following morning she was dead. My mother remained unconscious for 17 days and then she died they were all taken away after a few days and thrown into mass graves my sister and I were left behind the first year was very hard because there was no food just potato peels or one potato a day. It got better after a year. My sister went out to work. We were started out being 40 people in that hut. There were 12 of us left. And I spent two and a half years in that hut. Until one day, the rumor spread that for some reason, the orphans uh, under the age of 15 were being taken out 
from the camps. I was on that list. I arrived in Bucharest on the 4th of April, 1944. The day it was bombed by the Allies. I found the relative. He took me in and I spent three months there, again being fed and clothed and spoiled to some extent. But that relative who had been on his way to Palestine in 1939 still had the certificate to go to Palestine. He still had a valid passport. And there were three boats in 1944 that left from Constanza to Palestine. He managed to get onto one of these boats called Kazbek. I thought he would leave me behind, but he didn't. He adopted me, so I changed my name again, and I arrived in...